Speaking of President Trump and Twitter, he's acknowledged a hate crime in Portland three days later. Police say a 35-year-old self-proclaimed white supremacist started yelling racial slurs at two women last Friday. One of them was wearing a hijab at the time. And three good Samaritans stepped up to stop him. The suspect stabbed and killed two of them. Here's Stephanie Ramirez with the president's response. The president tweeted Sunday, the violent attacks in Portland on Friday are unacceptable. The victims were standing up to hate and intolerance. Our prayers are with them. Isn't this a good thing that he tweeted this today? You know, it's definitely a positive development and it's something that we do welcome, especially in this intolerant climate. But on Skype, Zainab Chaudhry, the spokeswoman for CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, says it's still frustrating. It's uh, really not enough. For one, she's critical of where the tweet came from. It was posted to the at POTUS account, which is said to be run by the president's staff and not his personal account, at real Donald Trump. The tweet also came after former CBS anchor Dan Rather called on the president to recognize Portland's brave Americans on his Facebook page. His post says this kind of extremism is on the rise, especially in the wake of your political ascendancy. Okay. These are just some of the hate-related incidents we've reported on since the elections. In Maryland, one still being investigated is the murder of 2nd Lieutenant Richard Collins III. That's what Chodra says she thought the president would mention. This being Memorial Day weekend when we honor um, the sacrifice of, you know, men and women who have served to protect and defend our freedoms, we would have thought that we would hear something from the president, you know, basically saying that he denounces these kind of attacks and these kind of uptick in domestic terrorist in incidents. Um, and unfortunately, we just heard pin drop silence. Still, the care leader says she has hopes President Trump will do more. In D.C., Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 